Welcome, everybody, to episode seven. In other words, part one of season two. And as you might have noticed, we're using pure silk. I said pure silk. Well, we're just still training the uh, <clears throat> assistant. As you can see, we spruced up the set a little bit. Um, hey, as a matter of fact, we even uh, upgraded our logo. It should look nicer. In fact, we're so proud of it. We're keeping it for a long, long time. Okay, now let's start the session. Today I am, or this evening, or this month, this year. Hey, what does it matter? There is no temporal scale in these movies. They're timeless. In any case, I'm drawing the letter scene, which is the letter sheen without the circumflex. So here it is, at the beginning of a word. Here, it's in the middle of a word, and uh, at the end of the word, with the little pot as usual, remember food, that whole motif, lunch, all that, from season one. Here, let's uh, write it without the indentation at the beginning of a word in the middle of a word and at the end of the word. Okie doke. Oh, and also, please note, I've drawn the scene using different lengths. Next, I think this is just about the perfect time to talk about the diacritic I have been wanting to talk about for a long time. It's not a tangent, really, but but it'll feel like one. Okay, notice the word essence is written with two S's. In proper English, that is. Uh, what if I wanted to make room and write essence, but with only one S instead of one S instead of two? Okay, I'd have to invent a diacritic. What did he say? Diacritic. Okay, remember season one? So I'd write essence. I, I would write essence, essence, and I would put a diacritic, which would indicate that I have to stress the S. Did I just say that? You know, I so intended for this pun to happen subconsciously, but... Are you basking in the glow? Yeah, me neither. Listen, uh, now I'm I'm writing a shaksiya. Well, and I didn't do such a great job. I am going to try it again. So el sheen ha sad ya ta a shaksiya. Now the ya. Yeah, is actually doubled up, or tripled, or quadrupled. Let's say stressed. For our purposes, two will suffice. One and two. But I only write one. Ashaqsiya. And I would add the diacritic that tells me it is, in fact, stressed and I would have that little uh, a instead of a you a oh I'm confusing you but you can handle it remember tout ankh amun yeah <laughs> anyway see it serves me right let me try to get let me try it again. Let me try it again. Okay. Find your center. Find your center. Okay. Ashaqsiya. 
now I will add actually I am ghosting the uh, diacritic the two diacritics one that stresses that says two uh, yeah so a shaksiya and then the one that says it's yeah a a but I am ghosting them or writing them using dots because I mean to say they're invisible. In fact, just like spiritual fluids, if you know anything about Dahishist theory, or the Brady Bunch for that matter. Yeah, remember that episode when Peter Brady's voice changed? Yeah, I think I just did an impression of that. Anyway, Sayyal means fluid. Sayyal. Imagine a cross between a British accent with a New Zealand accent. I say, I say, 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 yell, say, yell. Not say, all, say, all, say, y'all, say, no. say, say, yell, say, yell. Light and fluid. Say, yell. Yeah, we blew all the budget on that silk. We couldn't, we couldn't have, you know, we could have bought a bigger set. Anyway, a say, yell. L plus sin plus ya plus alif alif plus lam gives us asayal. Let me slice the L and add to it the letter sin chopped off or sliced right about here. Then we add the ya. And actually, there should be two ya. Yeah. So we're stressing the ya. Yeah. Right? Sayyal. So we put the diacritic that stresses the ya. Yeah. And I added the one on top of it that tells me it's a. Uh, although, technically speaking, it is redundant because the alif gives it the a. Uh, but it just looks good. So, Asayel. But I don't have to write the diacritics. That's the whole point. I could write it just like that. Now, notice the S or the scene with the little teeth here on the right without. Uh, I've, I can draw it with a camber without. Shorter, longer. It's like a semi... No, actually like a flatbed. Again, we have to get to the point where we recognize the word by inference. Okay. We're done. And see you next time. Go out and pray. <laughs>